Hello and welcome to Color Up. Today I'm going to cover the most popular craft strategy on YouTube. Now these two videos here cover this strategy and they're very similar. They have a couple nuanced differences, but basically the same strategy. Now between these two videos, they have nearly 2 million views. So like I said, very popular. Now this strategy doesn't really have a name that I know of. And because a major aspect of this strategy is a $75 don't come, we're gonna go ahead and call this the $75 don't come. We're gonna play the strategy on a $10 table. First thing you're gonna do is start off with a $10 pass line bet. You're gonna get a point established. In this case, it's a nine. And here's where the big step comes into the strategy. You're gonna take $75 and place a don't come bet. And I'll explain why in a second. So now you're looking to establish your don't come number. In this case, I rolled a seven and we would actually lose the don't come bet. And that is the worst case scenario. Let's say we don't roll a seven. Well, and, that, and you would follow it up with another $75 bet. So as you can see, if you roll a 0.7, this strategy can, can go downhill very fast. Okay, a six. Let's say this don't come bet moves back behind the six. Now this is our don't come. So now the point of the strategy is to move the risk from the seven, which has six ways to roll it, to a number that has, is a little less risky and has diff less ways to roll it. In this case, the six, there's only five ways to roll it. Ideally, your don't would be the five or the four, but with dice, again, it doesn't really matter. It just depends how the dice roll. Okay, our don't, our don't come is the six, because that's what we roll. In this case, we will finish the setup of our strategy. What, we're, what we do is do 10, 20, 30, $30, or three times in odds behind our pass line bet. And then we cover the rest of our numbers with minimum bets, 10, 10, 10, 10, well, and the six and eight need to be $12. So what we have here, and then, and then also a come bet. You always wanna have a come bet with every play of this strategy. So what we have here is if a seven does roll, we would lose 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, $82, but we would win $75, $85 with a seven. So you're, you're ahead of the game if the dreaded seven rolls. Any of these other numbers, you're gonna win, uh, you know, you're gonna win your place bet, the come's gonna move up. Obviously, ideally, you're, you're gonna win your pass line, so you win that and your odds. And so at this point, the number you wanna avoid is actually the six, because you're gonna lose the $75 bet. The $75 don't come. At this point, it's really a come betting strategy. Let's say a 10. This come bet is gonna move up inside the 10, you're and you're gonna get paid for your place bet. In this case, it's nine to five, so you're gonna win $18, and you're gonna use $20 to add in odds on your come bet here. And you're gonna rack this up. You will then, for the next roll, follow it up with another come bet. Remember, you always wanna have a come bet working. So the idea is to replace all these numbers with come bets and use the winnings of the place bets to get your two times and odds working. If you win these come, if you win these numbers, then you're gonna you can bump it up to three times odds, four times five odds, five times, whatever your table limit is. Okay, what do you do if the six does roll? Let's say the six rolls. In this case, you would lose that $75. This come bet would move to the six. Now what you're gonna do is have the dealer take you off on all your bets. He'll place a marker on it. Now what's off is your place bets and your come bet odds. Your come bets, they're just like a pass line bet. You can't turn these off. So these, this $20 is gonna stay at risk. And then you're gonna manually, you're gonna take down your odds yourself. So at this point, you still have $30 at risk for the next roll. But what you've done is pulled back 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, $82, so you've pulled $82 off the board. That way you can go ahead, and make another come, don't come bet of $75. You don't want all of it risk, 
because with a seven, you would lose everything plus your don't come. So you're pulling back or going off on your bets of what you can, the place bets and your come bet odds and pulling your pass line odds. That way you don't have twice as much at risk. At this point, you're just having the 75, your come bet and your pass line at risk. So hopefully you won't roll a seven, you roll a number, this case a four, so this would travel behind the four. You can add your pass line bet, odds back, get your all your bets working. This four you don't need here, so we can just move this down into the come. You're back in your strategy and ready to go again. All right, we're at a $10 table, $300 bankroll. Start with $10 on the pass. New shooter. Coming out. Okay, four, point's gonna be four. That's where you're gonna reach in a little bit and $75 on the don't come. And the don't come is gonna be a five. Pretty decent number. So this will travel behind the five. And then we're going to get the rest of our bets set up. So $20, $30, three times an odds for our pass, 10 in the come, and have the dealer place the rest of our numbers for us at the table minimum. And the six and eight is gonna need $12. All right, so we're set up and ready to go. And three, three craps. So that's gonna be a loss on the come. Let's get some more change here. It's gonna come back down. And here we go. Okay, five. So this is not what we wanna see happen. So our come's gonna travel up into the five and we're gonna lose our $75 don't come back. Now in this case, we're gonna ask the dealer to turn off all of our bets, because we're in the middle of the roll. So we're gonna turn these off. We don't have odds on the come, so that doesn't matter yet. Um, but this is working, and this is working, and we're gonna manually pull this down. We'll just set it aside for now. So it's not at risk. So what we're doing is pulling back 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 74 dollars, because what we're gonna do is go back in and get and bet another $75 to get a new don't come point established. Okay, this one's gonna be an eight, hard eight. So the 75 is gonna move behind the eight. We don't need this here, so let's go ahead and use it for our come bet. Let's get our bets back working. And we want double odds on our five. We start with double odds, and as we win, we move up triple, three times, four times, five times, whatever the table will allow us. All right, let's see that four. Oh, we forgot our odds for the, um, let's, let's, do, let's do it this way. $30 in odds there. All right, we need to see the four or the five. Okay, it's gonna be a 10, 10's fine. This 10 is going to get paid 18. This come is going to travel up to the 10. And we're going to use 20 of this for odds on our 10. And we'll just kind of rack this up. Well, we need our $10 come bet. All right, so we're looking for anything but the eight. Okay, two, two craps. That's not ideal as well. That's not a major loss, it's just 10 bucks. All right, here we go. And a nine. Dice rolled, I think, but that was a nine. This comes gonna travel up, and we're gonna get paid 14 for this nine. So let's use 20 of this to get odds on our nine. Rack up these ones. Now, it doesn't look like we have much, but it's all out here on the table. So hopefully we can hit some numbers here. Six, hard six. I forgot my come bet. Hopefully the dealer would be gracious with me. Our come bet of $10 would travel up to the six. This is gonna get paid. It doesn't automatically come down, but with a six coming up, we're gonna have the dealer bring it down. 
at $12. We'll get paid 14 and we're gonna use 20 of it. Well, he'll clean this up a little bit. He used 20 of it on the six. And we need our come bet. One, two, three, four. We're really kind of running down to the bottom of it here. Making change for $10, but we've got all of our numbers uh, as come bets and odds. So here we go. And 11, that's just a quick win on the come. We'll take that all day. And another 11, you 11. Like I said, all day. And two, two craps. Eh, we gave a little bit back there. It's okay. And four, hard four, there we go. This comes gonna move up to the four. Gonna get paid one one in the front. And two to one, we're $60 in the back for a $30 in odds. This puck's gonna come off. Let's go ahead and rack our winnings. Okay, at this point, all of our come bets are gonna be working for our come out roll, our pass line, our don't come. Those are all gonna be working. Your odds are off by default, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my $20 in odds to my four and have the dealer turn them on. And I really feel like I can hit one of these numbers and get paid on my odds. So it's just a feeling, doesn't matter as far as the odds go. Okay, it's gonna be five. So I'm glad I had my odds working. So the point's gonna be five. This combat is gonna come down. Flat portion gets paid to one to one. The odds get paid three to two, or one and a half times. So we'll collect this up and actually 10, 20, 30 times, three times in odds. Leave our $10 for the come, and we'll rack this up here. All right, let's see some numbers. Okay, it's gonna be a three, three craps. Gonna be a loser on the come. We always wanna come back, so let's get that back in there. Okay, and seven, seven out. So we're gonna lose a lot of money here, but most of it is casino winnings. This comes gonna get paid 10. This will get, bring the $75 don't come will come down and you'll get paid 75 for that. So 75. And actually we'll just do change for that so we can rack all this up. But I'm gonna make change with the 75, 25, 50, 75. Puck's off. And basically we're gonna start over with a new shooter. So let's get our $10 pass line bet down and see how it works out this round. All right, coming out. Okay, point's gonna be four. So puck's gonna be four and we're gonna go ahead and get our $75 don't come. And it's gonna be three through crafts, which is good for us. That's just a quick $75 win. And a four, hard four. So this is a little interesting. Our don't come is gonna move up behind the four and we hit our pass line four, so that's gonna get paid one to one and the puck's gonna come off. So we'll just rack that up. We have our don't come established. But let's get a new point. Okay, it's gonna be an eight. Eight's gonna be our point. So now we need to set up the rest of our bets. So 10, 20, 30 in odds. 
ten dollar in the come and we'll get the rest of them placed at the minimum of ten dollars six and eight need twelve and we're set up and ready to go and this is a good um, you know this is where you want to be there's only um, three combinations to make a four so versus you so the risky numbers on the four not the seven with six combinations so this is an ideal situation but again it just depends how the dice rolls so let's see some numbers hard six and we just want to avoid that four this will come up bring this down get paid 14 well you're going to use 20 of it for double odds and just rack up these ones and let's get our combat down and seven seven out okay again that's not going to hurt us too bad we get paid and our come the 75 dollars don't is going to be brought down and again i'm just going to make change and paid off in fives So that $75 don't come is going to win $75. Oh, chips flying everywhere. Rack that up. So it looks like we're just a little bit ahead of the game. A little back and forth here. New shooter, $10 on the pass. Here we go, coming out. Okay, seven, seven on the come out. Just a quick win. Same shooter coming out. Okay, it's gonna be three, three craps. All right, we gave that right back. And yo, yo 11. Okay, we're just going back and forth here. And 10, hard 10. So that's going to be our point. Let's drop $75 in the don't come. And let's see where that travels to. And it's going to be on the five. So this will move behind the five. We'll go ahead and set up. So three times in odds for our pass line 10. $10 in come. And let's get the rest of our numbers placed. Four, and we need some ones here for the six and eight. All right. Yep, set up and ready to go. Okay, three, three craps. That comes going to lose. And dice off the table, no roll. And it's going to be a five. Not what we want. So this, this is going to travel up to the five. We're going to lose our $75. At this point, we're going to go off on all of our bets. We're going to pull this down, at least temporarily. And we're going to come back at it with another don't come. And again, we're going off to pull some of the money off the table. This comes going to be working. This pass is working. And here we go. And it's going to be a nine. So this travel behind the nine. And this we can just use in the come. Let's get our bets back working. This needs two times in odds. So we'll put $20 on it. And our pass needs odds. Triple odds, I'll just do it this way, $30. All right, here we go. And it's going to be a five. My dice rolled there. So the dealer would call this off and on. This would move up, replace this, and bring it down. But instead of that, they're just going to pay, your, pay out your winnings. So $10 for your flat bet. And the $20 in odds is going to win you $20, $30 in odds. So he'll just pay you the winnings. You could rack that up. You're kind of still in the same position. They call that off and on. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's going to be a four. 
This place bet of 10, well, let's move our come up inside the 10 now. And this place bet of 10 is gonna, we're gonna bring it down and it's gonna get paid 18. And we're gonna use 20 of it in odds. Rack up the rest, uh, but we want our $10, $10 come. Okay, here we go. Okay, nine. That's a bummer. This comes gonna travel up inside the nine. We're gonna lose this don't come bet. So again, we're gonna go off on our bets and pull back our pass line odds. So these, we're gonna also have these odds off. These come bets are gonna be working though. You can't turn them off. They're like a pass line bet, always working. So let's go ahead and get $75 don't come bet down in there. And here we go. Let's see where it travels. It's going to travel to the six. So let's move behind the six and we'll move this down into the come. Just use it for a come bet. Let's get all of our bets working again. Let's get double odds here. And come, we got one place bet. This is our don't. So we want to avoid the six. Oh, we need odds on our 10. 10, 20, $30, three, three times odds on our pass. And here we go, set up and ready to go. Okay, three, three craps. Gonna lose in the come. It was a little scary, we're down, you know, we don't have much left in the bankroll. It's all out on the board. Okay, seven, seven out. So we had a lot invested in the come bets. Unfortunately, we didn't hit the numbers to collect on it. but we didn't get hurt too bad because we win here on the come. Our don't come comes down and we win 75 there. So 75 or 25, 50, 75. Not the end of the world, but not ideal. So we're really just kind of going back and forth, back and forth this game. But you can see you don't have a whole lot at risk, although it looks like it. Sometimes your, you know, your rack's going to get low. Um, you don't have a huge amount of risk because you kind of have that don't come hedge working for you. Um, but you can see if you get some numbers working for you, if you can hit some repeat numbers, you can really start collecting with those odds winning. So I don't know. Let's give it another hand. New shooter, pass line bet down. And here we go, coming out. Okay, nine. Our puck was off. Our new point is going to be the nine. Let's get our $75 don't come down. And here we go. Let's see where it travels. It's going to travel to the four, which is good. I'd like to see that, four or ten. It's ideal. And let's get set up. Three times and odds there. $10 in the come. Ask the dealer to replace the rest of the numbers for us. And six and eight need to be $12. And here we go. All right, six. Move behind the six. This will come down and get paid 14. We're going to use this 20 for odds on our six. Rack up some ones and get $10 back reinvested in the come. And yo, yo 11. It's a quick win there. We'll just rack that up. And a six. So that's off and on. The dealer's just going to pay us our winnings. So $10 for a flat. And 24 for our odds. Now you want a little bit, if you want to bump that up to three times odds, you can. Um, we haven't got a chance to see that happen, so let's go ahead and do that. I feel like this is going to be our lucky roll. All right, here we go. And seven, seven out, no. But again, it doesn't hurt too bad. Going to lose here. 
to come. There's 75 there. Buck's going to come off. Let's give it one more try. I'm not sure how long this video has gone on, but this is kind of a fun strategy. There's a lot of action to it. And like I said, long roll is going to do you well. You know, medium short rolls aren't going to hurt you too bad. You just got to avoid the 0.7 out. All right, here we go. Coming out. Three, three craps. Stack is a little high here. Okay, 12, 12 craps. Not good. And there's a 10. So that's going to be our point. Let's get $75 invested in the don't come. See where it travels. It's going to go to the eight behind the eight. Three times in odds, our come bet. Place the rest of our numbers here. Now we need some change here with the dealer. Get these placed. And the caps on our six. And we're set up and ready to go. Okay, six, six hard. It's gonna travel up. This 12 is gonna get paid 14. Gonna use this for our odds on the six. Let's get our new combat down. And seven, seven out. So we're going to lose yeah, here. Get paid in the come or don't come. Bring down. All right, a little back and forth. You can see the numbers here, how we turned out. I'm not sure by looking at it where I'm at, but really didn't went up a little down a little kind of didn't get anywhere but um you know i you know i like the potential of this strategy and seems to be minimal risk and it is obviously very popular here on youtube so i hope you like the video if you have any comments suggestions you know modifications to this let me know i might roll this video again uh just you know i like it i like the action in it and uh, we'll see how it goes so until next time good luck on coloring up